It's 2022. If you've ever done some kind of programming, it's very likely you've at least heard of Visual Studio Code. What you might not be as familiar with is just how many convenient features it has and just how much time some of them could be saving you. My name is Juan Carlos Fontecha, and I'm a software engineer currently working for Microsoft here in Seattle. Despite not working directly in the VS Code team within Microsoft, this application is used extensively. On top of that, I've had some of the smartest engineers I know share with me how they use it, and in many ways, VS Code has streamlined my day-to-day -day development quite a bit. In this video, I want to share with you my favorite time-saving features so you can be more effective with your time and achieve even more. In that same spirit of saving time, here's a breakdown of the tips we'll be covering today along with timestamps, so feel free to dive into the one you're most interested in. The one shortcut to rule them all. You might already be familiar with this one, but it is so useful that I couldn't really leave it out. It is the shortcut that displays a pane containing pretty much every command you can execute in VS Code. To open it, you can go to View and Command Palette, but the real time savings come when you learn the shortcut for it, which is Command Shift P. From here, you can start typing any command you want and press Enter as soon as you see it selected by VS Code. Now, the reason I call this one the shortcut to rule them all is because on top of the fact that you can get to pretty much any other command using this method, oftentimes those commands will have keyboard shortcuts of their own and code will display them right next to the command's name. So you can also use this shortcut as a refresher for some of the other shortcuts that you often use. How to master search. Searching through a code base is one of the actions that I find myself doing multiple times a day. One of the more common scenarios is referencing how I've implemented in the past an API that I need to use again. For this reason, one of the best investments I've made is in optimizing the search capabilities of VS Code. To access it and search across files, use the command shift F shortcut. This focuses your input in the search bar so you can start typing right away. That part you might already be familiar with, but did you know that you can also just as quickly access your search history? To do this, just use the up and down arrows in your keyboard when you're focused in the text field, and you'll navigate your search history just like you would for your command history in a terminal window. Another cool aspect of this pane is the fact that you can just as easily access the find and replace across files functionality by toggling the little caret right next to the search bar. But you can directly access the search pane with the replace field expanded if instead of doing command shift F, you do command shift H. A nice last bonus here is how you can expand the search detail fields by clicking on the three dots where you'll be able to filter your search results to matching files. For example, by typing this in the files to include field to just search for JavaScript files. Working with the terminal. One of the most common tasks you'll find yourself doing when coding is using the terminal. Now, there are a couple of ways you can seamlessly integrate this interaction with your VS Code workflow, and in the end, it'll come down to personal preference, but let's take a look at some of your options. First, the integrated terminal. VS Code provides a convenient way for you to access your terminal commands without needing to leave the app. You can open this using the command palette we just mentioned, but if you want even faster access, you can do control backtick. There's a ton of customization that you can apply to these, but at that point, it really depends on your own needs. So I'll leave a link down below in case you want to do a deep dive on that. Sometimes you might just want to open a dedicated terminal window, however. You would normally do this by opening the terminal app and then navigating to the working directory of your project. But I also recently discovered that VS Code makes even this easier for you. You can just press Command Shift C and a new external terminal will be launched for you in the working directory you have open in code. Pro editing. VS Code is also known for the power of its editing features. One of my favorite ones being multi-cursor support. That just means that you can drop more than a single cursor throughout the viewport and perform batch edits to whatever you just selected. To create an additional cursor, just press Alt along with a click wherever you wanna drop the extra cursor. One way to take this even further is with a couple of commands to automatically select text. Use Command Shift L to add additional cursors to all occurrences of the current selection, or use Command D multiple times to progressively select occurrences with a new cursor one by one. To move entire lines up and down seamlessly, you can just do Alt and D up and down arrows. To properly format the code you're selecting, you can use Command K followed by Command F. And if you want VS Code to format the entire document for you, you can just do Shift Alt F. There are of course even more commands when it comes to editing, but these are the ones I find myself using most often. File and Code Navigation You're probably already familiar with the File Explorer on the right of your VS Code window, but did you know that that pane has its own shortcut? 
If you're in the search pane, for example, and you want to go back to your explorer, you can just do command shift E. One even better way to get to your files is by doing command P. This opens up a pane that lets you quickly open them by name. That pane also has a couple of interesting features. If the first thing you type is the at sign, it'll search for you any symbols you start typing within that file. And if you do a pound character, instead it'll look for symbols across files, which is also super useful. And these two features have the associated shortcuts of Command Shift O and Command Shift T respectively. If you find yourself constantly going back and forth between a couple of files, you'll definitely like the recently opened pane, which you can access with the control tab shortcut and it works just like command tab, but between recently opened files, as opposed to apps. The Windows breadcrumb is not only useful to let you know where your file is located, but it's also interactive. So you can click on any directory and it'll pop a list of other files in that directory that you can quickly access. I wanted to keep it brief today, so these are all the ones I brought with me. I would love to know which ones are the ones you find most useful in the comments below, as well as any other tips that I didn't include here today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.